In this session, I'm going to cover content-based filtering. Content-based filtering recommends items based on content of the items rather than other users' ratings or opinions. So how do we use content of the items? What we do is content of each individual item is described on the basis of some inherent characteristics or features of the item. For example, in the case of movies, each movie can be described with the title of the movie, who is the director of that movie, who are the cast members, what is the genre of the movie, what is the year of the release, how long the movie lasts, what are the other related movies to this movie, what are the critics ratings and reviews, and what are the newspaper ratings and reviews, and also what are the user ratings and reviews. So, each of these characteristics is treated as a feature and a common way to represent these features is to use a bag of words model. So now what is a bag of words model? Well, a bag of words model is a model where we literally dump our text that can be a phrase, a sentence or a paragraph in a bag where only words remain intact, but we lose word order and grammar. So in bag of words model, we only know what are the words and how many times they occur in our text. So for example, the word words appear twice in our text. It will be there twice in our bag also. And here note that this is different from set where we lose both the word order and multiplicity whereas in bag of words model we only lose the word order we keep the word multiplicity so each of the feature of our items will be a bag of words and let's assume that there are d features in each of the items so once we have defined features for all the items what we do is that for a particular user we take out all the items that have been rated by this user and that constitutes our training data set for that user to train a user specific classifier and we use the classification model where we not only get like or dislike classification but we also get probability of liking or disliking like base classifier or logistic regression or a neural network and using that probability we can get numerical rating that a user will give to a particular item and now we use this user specific classifier to predict rating of items that have not been rated by the user and the items with highest predicted rating are recommended to the user so in other words we can say what we are doing is we are comparing the unrated items with previously liked items by the user and based on some similarity measure best matching items are recommended to the user and because we are using the content or features of the item to find similarity between the items this is called content based filtering now there are several advantages of content based filtering First one is that we don't need data on other users. So we don't face the cold start problem or the sparsity problem where we need at least a certain number of ratings by all the users. And the second advantage is that content based filtering is able to recommend to users that have unique tests because we are training a user specific classifier. It is also able to recommend new and unpopular items because the recommendations are made using content or features of the item so based on those features we can recommend the item and also we can provide justification for recommendation based on dominant features of the recommended items that is for each user we can identify which features are dominating our like prediction and which features are dominating dislike prediction and that way we can provide justification for our recommendations 
but then there are some shortcomings also for content based filtering first one is that as the recommendations are made on the basis of content or features of the item model learned for one type of items for example say movies cannot be used for other types of items like books or music or news articles because the features for one type of item will be different from features for other types of items and because these features are based on domain of the item the content based filtering is also called domain based approach the second shortcoming is that it works only for content that can be encoded as meaningful features that is only if we can define meaningful features for our content we can use content based filtering and third shortcoming is that it is unable to exploit the quality judgment of other users as we have to train a user specific classifier